Hello, it's Dr. I here again, and today we're going to look at how to measure alkalinity of a water sample from a creek or from tap water or anywhere. And I've got my assistant here today to help me, but you are just not looking like you're ready for this. You gotta go change, Eli. All right, that's much better, and I've got my gloves on too. So when we do the alkalinity test, we're going to be using some acids that are fairly strong, and if they do get on your skin, they can be kind of irritating. And if they got in our eyes, that could be dangerous. And so Eli now has his goggles. He's got his long sleeves. We've got our long sleeves. And he's got long pants and closed toed shoes. So we're ready to go then. So I'm gonna put the, I've got 100 milliliters of Davis tap water. So this is the Davis tap water. And I'm going to put it into my flask and the way I knew how much to add um, there's a well I'll talk about that when we're when we're doing the thing but actually no I'll talk about that now <laughs> so I knew what to add there's a little table here in the book and you estimate where you are where your value is going to be and you use that to um, decide what concentration of acid to use and what volume to use and I actually went with the 100 and, uh, which was I gonna do? 100 and the 1.6 because of, that's what I think will work and then other things. Okay, so before we get going on this to titrate, we put in our color indicator, which is the Bromo Cresol Green or Verde, depending on which side of the, Thing you're using. So I get a little powder packet and it's very hard to get these open with gloves on but probably a good idea to protect your hands from this stuff. Okay <clears throat> so you can see it's turning the water green. Let's see if I think we should have a little bit more in there. Okay, I'm back and I got it nice and green now. So this is the color before you titrate. And we are going to titrate with 1.6 normal acid. And see there's this little J hook, but we wanna make sure is that the tip of the J hook is always in the water solution. And it helps to have two people. That's why I have my assistant here. And also we're gonna use your lab coat as the background when we start changing color. Oh, oh before we get going, I almost forgot to zero. <laughs> so we want to zero our titrator. So oh, first I have to zero it. So I'm going to turn it and it may not look like it's doing anything, but you just have to trust that it's working. No, this doesn't. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, that took a while. Trust it. All right, we're at zero now. So now we can really start our titration. Eli, will you please help? Yes. So it helps to have one person who is turning the dial, one person holding the titrator and one person swirling. Do you want to turn the dial or do you want to swirl? Swirl. Okay, so hold, take the flask away from me. Okay. And hold it and you're gonna tilt it a little bit so I can keep the J hook in right. and then you're gonna swirl it after I add some drops okay. I'm gonna add, add a few because I know that we're gonna need a bunch and then go ahead and swirl it okay keep swirling can use my coat as the background. yes your coat will be a good background can you see the color well through Eli's coat camera person <laughs> oh shoot did I go too far Oh, look, it's starting to change color a little bit. So now I gotta be careful and just do one at a time. Well, maybe it didn't, it's starting to look purple, but it's gonna slow it down a little bit. Okay, 40, we're at 40. One. 
probably should have calculated in my head what how many drops I would have to take. <clears throat> Oh, does that look like a different color, Eli? I can't see it. Oh, okay. Kind of. It's starting to look a little grayish to me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. And Here, just... show it on your coat. Oh, I guess it's there. still... Yeah, it's starting to look a little grayish colorless. Let's see what happens a few more drops. Huh? Did you see a little flash of pink? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, now it's turning pinker. Looks like it's still kind of purple. We want a nice pink color. Let's look at that on your lab coat. In the light. Yeah, now I see it. So pink. So I'm gonna get, I, we have, we're at 54 now. I'm gonna give it one or two more and just see if it changes colors if it gets lighter. What do you think? Is that a little, that's a little more pink, I think. This looks like it's the right one. So I'm gonna say 55, but I'm gonna give it one more just to be sure. Okay. Did you see a change? I think it's 55. So we're gonna say 55 drops for that one. All right, and then we're going to go to our chart. Oh, is that it? No. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Don't wave yet. So we're gonna go to our chart and we can see down there. Can you hold this? Yeah. Thank you. Um, where we were doing 100 and 1 1.6 so we're going to multiply it by one. Oh, so perfect so it's a uh, alkalinity of 55 55 drops times one 55 really we got it all right. all right see you in the next video what do we do with this oh very good question we I don't know. want to just throw it on the ground we're going to put it in the alkalinity waste bottle can we drink it no we cannot drink it <laughs> jelly juice <laughs> there we go it, well it is probably it's very acidic so it's pretty acidic it's a, it's, it's about a ph of 4.7 at this point when it turns um pink or 4.5 forget all right there we go we've got it in the waste bottle we'll take it back to the lab and send it over to the hazardous waste people at sac state all right thanks Chilly. hi this is dr <laughs> That's not gonna work. You can't do this with that kind of lab gear. <laughs> <laughs>